I have 422 friends, yet I'm lonely. I speak to all of them every day, yet none of them really know me. The problem I have sits in the spaces between, looking into their eyes or at a name on a screen. I took a step back and I opened my eyes. I looked around and realised that this media we call social is anything but when we open our computers and it's our doors we shut. <laughs> All this technology we have, it's just an illusion of community, companionship, a sense of inclusion. Yet when you step away from this device of delusion, you awaken to see a world of confusion. A world where we're slaves to the technology we've mastered, where our information gets sold by some rich, greedy bastard. A world of self-interest, self-image, self-promotion, where we share all our best bits, but leave out the emotion. We are at our happiest with an experience that we share, but is it the same if no one is there? Be there for your friends and they'll be there too, but no one will be if a group message will do. We edit and exaggerate, we crave adulation, we pretend we don't notice the social isolation. We put our words into order until our lives are glistening, we don't even know if anyone is listening. Being alone isn't the problem. Let me just emphasise that if you read a book, paint a picture, or do some exercise, you're being productive and present not reserved and recluse, being awake and attentive, and putting your time to good use. So when you're in public and start to feel alone, put your hands behind your head and step away from the phone. There's no need to stay at the menu or your contact list. Just talk to one another and learn to coexist. I can't stand to hear the silence of a busy commuter train when no one wants to talk through the fear of looking insane.
where becoming unsocial it no longer satisfies to engage with one another and to look into someone's eyes. We're surrounded by children who since they were born watch us living like robots and think it's the norm. It's not very likely you make the world's greatest dad if you can't entertain your child without using an iPad. When I was a child, I would never be home. I'd be out with my friends on our bikes we would roam. We'd wear holes in our trainers and graze up our knees. We'd build our own clubhouse high up in the trees. Now the parks are so quiet, it gives me a chill. To see no children outside and the swings hanging still. There's no skipping or hopscotch, no church or no steeple. We're a generation of idiots, smartphones and dumb people. So look up from your phone, shut down that display. Take in your surroundings and make the most of today. Just one real connection is all it can take to show you the difference that being there can make. I am guilty too of being part of this machine, this digital world where we are heard but not seen, where we type and don't talk, where we read as we chat, where we spend hours together without making eye contact. Don't give in to the life where you follow the hype. Give people your love, don't give them your like. Disconnect from the need to be heard and defined. Go out into the world, leave distractions behind. Disconnect from the need to be heard and defined. Go out into the world. Leave distractions behind. from your phone, shut down that display, stop watching this video, live life the real way. Mm -hmm.